Oh, don't mind me. I'm just taping up my light switch. Like, do you guys really think I'm going to film this review with the possibility that some ghosts could make the lights go out? No, 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 no. I'd rather be safe than sorry, so don't judge me. This is for a good reason. Hey everybody, this is 22TigerDude here, and I'm here to review Lights Out. So, Lights Out is written and directed by first-time writer and director David F. Sandberg, and the film has the talents of Teresa Palmer and Maria Bello. So, Lights Out is about this girl named Rebecca, played by Teresa Palmer, who thought had her childhood fears left behind, but it comes back to haunt her many years later when her brother experiences the same thing she experienced, where suspicious events are happening, where the lights are going out that is caused by this ghost. So, it's up to Rebecca and Martin, her younger brother, to discover the truth while also having to survive in the darkness when the lights go out. And I was very interested in Lights Out because I really liked the concept. I really enjoyed the cast behind this film. You know, I really like Teresa Palmer. I really like Maria Bello. So, now that I've seen Lights Out, I personally had a lot of fun. Lights Out is a simple, fun horror film. It's definitely a B-rated horror film that you could just shove popcorn and have fun. That's what Lights Out is. And if you're looking for that kind of horror film, then I'm pretty sure you're going to really get a kick out of Lights Out. Already from the start, I felt a lot of suspense in this film. And it already set the tone for what Lights Out is going to be. It already let you know the kind of film you were going into. And then from there, the movie does have its usual setup. But I was actually really enjoying the setup of this film. How we get introduced to Teresa Palmer, her boyfriend, and then her younger brother, Martin, and then the mother, played by Maria Bello. And there's just this whole mystery to this film. Not only is this a horror film, I would describe it as also a mystery film because while you do get your scares, there is a whole mystery behind what's happening and why the lights are going out and just these very treacherous situations that you have to see this character's face. It is a lot of fun to watch, honestly. And I just love the concept of these characters having to survive while the lights are out. I think that's a very creative concept and I thought this movie executed that concept very well. Performances from everyone I thought were all very solid. Teresa Palmer did a really good job as the lead character, Rebecca. And then I actually really liked her boyfriend too. I actually thought the boyfriend was really likable and the actor who portrayed the boyfriend did a really good job. I thought the actor that portrayed Martin, Rebecca's little brother, the one that's having all of these scary experiences, I really enjoyed him in this film. And I thought Maria Bello as Rebecca, Martin's mother. She was definitely really good in this film. And I actually did find myself laughing a few times in this film. Like in a horror film, you want to be scared, but you also want to laugh sometimes. And I would say I laughed a few times in Lights Out. It could be because of a certain jump scare that's executed or just because of something pretty silly that happens but it's funny at the same time. One scene in particular that deals with Rebecca's boyfriend and I'm not gonna really say anything else but all I'm gonna say is that I really laughed very hard because of the situation. And as I just said earlier, this movie is from David F. Sandberg. This is his first film to ever write and direct. As far as direction goes, the direction is really, really fantastic. I was very impressed with David F. Sandberg, with this being his first film. There were a lot of really neat and beautiful shots in this film. The cinematography looks gorgeous. And as far as David's writing goes, I thought the writing Writing was very fascinating to me. It kept me at the edge of my seat. I was always so intrigued of this whole mystery 
that is happening in this movie. And just where the storyline was progressing, I thought it flowed at a very smooth level. And that's a huge credit to David's writing and directing. And yes, one thing I'm sure you guys are gonna ask me is, are there a lot of jump scares? Yes, there's a lot of jump scares. The good thing is that the movie doesn't do the fake jump scares. But I do feel like how the movie sets up the jump scares, I did feel like was very effective and it was very well executed. And a few times did get under my skin just a little bit. And honestly, this is a very well paced horror film. This is a very short horror film. And I was actually surprised with how short this film was. It was only 81 minutes long. So that's not really long for a horror film. I know some horror films are like that, but I have to say this being a movie that was only 81 minutes long, you're in, you're out and boom, you know, that was the movie. But I will say for a movie that's A1 minutes long, it did feel a little longer than that. And in that case, that's a good thing for me because I like it when, even though if a movie is very short, it feels a little longer than its running time. And that's the case with Lights Out. And then once the characters have to survive in the darkness, those scenes were intense as hell. And as far as cinematography goes, like I said earlier, cinematography is gorgeous, but man, the cinematography really stands out when you see the characters using these lights to survive in the darkness. Like there's this one scene where Teresa Palmer is holding this big blue light and man, that just made the movie look so colorful. Now, as far as flaws go with Lights Out, I will say that at times, the movie does get a little too predictable. Like, there are some parts in this film that you can easily see coming. The movie does have your usual horror cliches, like characters not making the best decisions, where you're telling the characters, don't go there, don't go there, don't go out, and you know, the characters do it. And the characters in this film, they're they're not dumb characters. They're actually very smart characters, which is another thing I really like about Lights Out. It's just that the characters themselves don't always make the best decisions in this film. And then there's a scene with the cops and the cops were just flat out stupid in this film. Like it was actually pretty irritating in my opinion on how dumb the cops were. As far as jump scares go, like I told you guys, there's a lot of jump scares. and. I don't mind the jump scares. I actually really liked how the jump scares were handled because I felt like they were very effective for the most part. But I do have to say that the jump scares do come off as repetitive after a while because yes, even though the jump scares are built up on this ghost, which we're trying to discover the mystery on, it does happen quite often. After a while, you do kind of go, okay, we get it. We can kind of just calm down with the jump scares now. And the last problem I personally had with Lights Out is that it did have an abrupt ending like once the climax is all wrapped up the movie itself just ends Overall, Lights Out is a very simple horror film that has a very creative premise on these characters having to face a treacherous situation where they have to survive in the house when it's all dark, you know, when the lights are all out. I thought they handled the concept very well. I thought the performances from everyone were all really good and there's a great mystery behind this movie that i did find to be very creepy and very intriguing at the same time i'm not a big fan of the horror genre personally so for me to say i had a lot of fun with lights out really says something so personally i thought lights out was very solid and i'm gonna give it three out of four stars very satisfying way to celebrate my birthday since I did get to go to an advanced screen for this film on my birthday. So you guys, Lights Out comes out in theaters on July 22nd, but when you do go see Lights Out, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Lights Out and what is so far your favorite horror movie of 2016. We're pretty much halfway through the year, so I figured why not ask you guys this question. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!